Hello everyone, namaste. So I wasn't actually planning on doing this video tonight, but I was just sitting in meditation at home alone and I felt called to come share this with you guys. And part of it is because I think it's valuable advice, but another part is also because I've been getting a lot of comments lately that I guess in a way bother me. And these comments or messages are after I post a picture with my partner and there'll be messages like I wish I had a perfect partner like you or I wish I could find this you guys are so perfect a lot of perfect and I guess this word kind of bothers me because essentially I believe we are all perfect at our core but the way that people are using it here is not actually the image I want to be portraying on my social media the reason I started a presence here was to be raw with you guys I've gone through a lot as many of you also have and I want to share my experiences to help others who may be going through similar circumstances because there was many times in my life when I felt completely alone and like no one had gone through what I had been through and I remember thinking that oh god I really wish I knew someone who had gone through this and survived it just to give me hope that it's possible so referring to my partner and I we're by no means perfect or the perfect relationship just a few months ago, we actually took a break because we're really going through a rough patch. We're going to be doing some videos together this week and I just wasn't feeling right posting these pictures and videos without sharing a little bit about our relationship with you guys. So when we met, it was very intense and we fell in love right away. Basically in the first hour, we were like, wow, you are my soulmate. The first time I saw him, I basically thought this is the guy version of me, which is what I've been looking for all around the world for a long time. And I've been traveling all over for over a decade. I haven't had an actual place to call home until I met him and I just packed my stuff up and moved here to Los Angeles to be with him within about two months of us meeting. So we really just flew right into it and both being two people who are really used to being alone, independent and doing our own thing. All of a sudden we were together all of the time and as you can imagine this could only last for so long until we basically drove each other crazy. We were beginning to fight about things that really didn't matter. We weren't giving each other enough personal space and eventually what happened with my partner was he kind of pushed away. I have a little bit more experience in relationships and just life experience in general. I'm a few years older, I've traveled all around. So he unfortunately had an issue that many of us face that we don't believe we deserve the best or we don't believe we deserve happiness. And this is a problem in our society today. So many people have troubles accepting happiness. And it's funny because we work so hard to get what we want and then when we actually have it, we get scared and we push it away. So this happens a lot in many things in life and this is what happened in our relationship. He pushed me away and I left. So we were broken up or on a break for a couple months and it was really painful for me because in my heart I didn't feel like it was right and we were still spending time together and I kind of just wanted to shake him and be like, why are we not together? So really it took a lot of patience on my end. Eventually it just got to the point where he realized what he was doing and basically was like, wow, what am I doing? Let's come together and work on things. So this is what we've been doing and it's been really beautiful and a deep growing experience for us. But during some time when we were apart, Certain things happen, and I'm not going to go into detail about them on here, but it hurt me deeply. And there's a point in a relationship, or many times in relationships, where you really have to sit with yourself and decide if it's time to let go or to stay together. And this is what we did. We took time to ourselves and decided, do we want to keep trying after certain things have happened, or do we just want to let it go and be friends in the future? And after having time to think, we both definitely wanted to keep going and try to work through this. And it's been such a beautiful lesson for us and it's been raw and honest and open and it's really going in a great direction now as our relationship is much stronger than it's ever been. But I'm not going to lie, there's still times where there's resentment 
and even anger. And this has really been a learning experience to hold space for each other going through these emotions, but also giving each other space to get through it on your own. And this is really why I felt like sharing this video tonight because I'm currently alone at home and my partner had a lecture that I really wanted to go to and support him. But deep inside of me, I just, I felt my body telling me that I needed to take some time alone tonight to just work on myself, meditate, take a nice bath, and prioritize my self-care. And the reason I wanted to share this was because I think one of the most important things in a relationship is to keep who you are as a person while still being in a relationship and really prioritizing self-care and self-love even sometimes when you might feel obligated to do something in the relationship like tonight i felt am i being a bad girlfriend because i'm not there to support him and i would really love to be there but what's more important my presence there tonight or my presence and full energy in this relationship you cannot serve others from an empty vessel and that is so true you need to keep yourself full you need to be whole on your own and it's so easy to get lost in a relationship or in another person and totally forget about yourself. And as I came back to this relationship, I promised myself that I wouldn't do that and also told my partner that this has to be a priority for us. As passionate as it can be at times, we still have to step back and remember to put ourselves first. So do what fills you up. If you're starting to feel depleted in a relationship, take time for yourself sit with yourself and figure out what's going on inside of you. Sometimes I have insecurities, as I'm sure most of us do in relationships, and instead of projecting them onto my partner, I know that I just have to go sit with myself and get to the root of this issue. And most times it has nothing to do with my partner, but actually more to do with past relationships. And this is just a matter of me acknowledging this, honoring it, and then releasing it. In my meditations, I will honor the feelings I have, and I will be present with that emotion, and then I let it go. I recognize you, but you don't have power over me anymore. And another important thing that I'm about to go do is self-love rituals. Do what makes you happy. Do what makes you feel like yourself. So for me, that means yoga and meditation, journaling and dancing, going and getting a massage or getting my nails done, setting up a hot bath with candles and essential oils and my favorite relaxing music or my favorite book, or sometimes even just calling my mom and having a two hour long phone discussion with her. This is one that took me many years to perfect because naturally I'm a giver and I want to always be giving and always making my partner feel good. But from experience, I realized that I really have to put myself first. So my relationship now is in a very good place, but we're still working through the kinks. And it's a little overwhelming sometimes because this is my last week in America before I have to go back to Canada since I'm Canadian and I'm not allowed to stay here full time. So we're about to take some time apart. And this has definitely added some stress, but it's all about just compromising, working together, figuring out what works. For example, I get anxious when I'm away at night sometimes, and my partner sometimes just passes out without talking to me. And this became a problem last time I was in Canada. So now he just makes the effort to make sure even a text, hey babe, I'm going to sleep. And that little thing just helps so much and helps me with my fears. No relationship is going to be perfect. It's just honoring each other and giving the other what they need. Rather than feeling like you're being attacked or blamed, recognize that your partner might have issues and they're not necessarily due to things that you have even done. And hold space for their healing. And another thing about social Social media that I want to say is the reason why we're posting happy pictures all the time is not because we're trying to say look at us we have an awesome life any pictures or videos that I personally post my intention is to either inspire entertain or inform and this is usually done by sending people good loving vibes and energy we're not gonna be posting all the time oh you know he left the seat up on the toilet today so I'm just pissed off that doesn't send happiness out to you guys so please just remember Remember what people portray on social media it's not like that all the time we're all just having this human experience and sharing it the best we can so I hope that helps you guys who maybe are already in relationships or might be in one in the future remember that love can be very scary but it's truly worth it
Thank you for watching and please subscribe for more videos like this. Namaste.